messages find you in good health and good wealth and good spirits. This is your daily tarot message for the May the 14th. May the 14th. All right. It's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. It also um, is kind of like a living thing. It could resonate one way today, a completely different way. Even a couple of hours later, if you rewatch it, you may catch some things you didn't catch before or events specifically. I'm told there's something with twos here, two months, two years, two weeks, um, two hours. If you come back and watch this, then it, um, it, <laughs> well, it hits different, but also you events unfold that make it mean something different entirely. I'm hearing closely related. Okay. So yeah, anyways, um, general doesn't resonate with everyone and that's okay. Uh, there's plenty of other content here on the channel, plenty of other content and channels here on YouTube. All right. So just take what uh, may help you and leave what doesn't because ultimately that's what we're trying to do, right? We're just trying to help ourselves get to a better place. We're all just trying to be the best version of ourselves. And if you're not, you should be. All right. So remember that time is an illusion. Yes, it's marked for this day. That doesn't necessarily mean it's meant specifically for and only for this day. Okay. Energy is fluid. So this message may actually resonate, you know, or be spot on for someone that you're um, connected with and someone that's in your life and not necessarily you. Okay. And also it's only a negative reading if you are accepting it negatively. Okay. We read tarot so that we can get a layout of energy and so that way if we don't like where the journey is taking us or the possible outcomes, we have every um, opportunity to change that. If we don't like what we see, if we don't like where it's going, we do things to change it. All right. Judgment coming out here with the devil, the three of swords and the ace of cups. What is going on here? Those just shot out. Let's see. I'm hearing we're plucking it out of the fire. We're plucking the broken heart out of the fire to restore love. Wow. This is big. This, this level of shadow work has been coming through. I mean, it's intense. It's really intense. I personally love it. It's not the easiest thing to go through, but also there are worse things that, you know, that could happen. We've got the King of Pentacles falling on the floor here. We'll see what that's about in a minute. But yeah, the, we're, we're plucking the broken heart out of the fires to restore love. I love that. Oh yeah, this is deep, deep, deep um, pain and trauma that's coming up from the past, okay? Offers that you never thought you would get again or you think are just bullshit because you've been, you know, you've been had in the past. King of Swords, yeah, you've, been, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Four of Wands in reverse position, the Hermit, yeah, with the Ace of Wands there in the reverse position. Overall energy is someone has been stuck for a very long time. And you know, they may not have even considered themselves stuck because the rest of their life continues to go on. Look at that tower underneath there. I love that tower. I love to see that right here with the Devil and the Judgment. Oh, I'm all about this energy and this Seven of Swords, baby. Yes, I'm here for it. Okay, so what we're looking at here, what I'm looking at here is someone that is been stuck stuck for a long time, like I said, and they wouldn't necessarily view themselves as stuck because their life continues on. They may be very successful. They may very, look very happy on the outside. They may have their shit together. Um, they continue to go forward. They continue to grow in some areas, but the most deep, deep areas they haven't grown in. And that's because those doors haven't been opened in so long. Those pits of hell haven't been visited in so long um and yeah now you or your higher self or universe or your whatever it is that you work with or however this is you know in your life resonates with you this is this little gnat is this little gnat <laughs> this little gnat is significant to the reading because he is bothering me the way that this has been bothering your soul and it's going to keep flying around and doing its thing and being um annoying 
uh, until it gets plucked out. And it is being plucked out of the fires, that broken heart. We're, we're doing away with that and restoring love from past traumas. Okay, we're breaking this down. This is abrupt change. The things that you thought you would never have again, and you just kind of chalked it up to, well, that's just the way it is. Well, that's just life. Well, that's how everybody is. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. And we're going back down this road, this journey into the soul. For some reason, though, this hermit to me, it's like it's like they're showing me me like this is me or you or whatever, you know, and my own soul's journey with my own light. But also now I'm able to view it as an observer. So it is me going down that path. It's me holding the lantern. It's all me. But also, I'm able to view it as the observer from the outside as me. This is signifying to me way more of an open mind. I'm hearing more emotional structure. I am not entirely sure what that means. Someone thought that they were never going to get another opportunity. They never thought that they they would be this passionate about something again. They never thought anything was going to be right for them. They never thought they were going to get married again. They never thought they were going to get engaged again. They never thought they were going to have love again. They never thought they were, you know, their heart was always going to be cold. I'm hearing like, yeah, I mean, it's not cold. It's just like, oh yeah, got it. Like, I'm not a pessimist. Okay. I'm a realist. Sorry about that my child yeah I'm a pessimist I mean I'm not a pessimist I'm a realist um, so someone's just accepted a lot of things that probably shouldn't be acceptable and I think it's fine I know I'm guilty of that Father of Pentacles comes out again. Yeah, there's a lot of sadness coming up. A lot of trauma coming up. A lot of like what's been done to me type of feelings. What What's causing that? Oh yeah. We're sorting out that inner conflict. Yanking it right up out of the fires. This is a lot of like what's been done to me. We're revisiting spaces that are very, 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 very uncomfortable. What's interesting about this is that um, the way they're showing me this devil energy, like look how strong that devil appears, okay? Look how strong that devil appears. Look how small these people appear in relation to that devil. The way this card is coming through to me, and hear me out, because it's gonna sound a little bit dark, and probably a lot of people are gonna be like, eh, whatever, more, more unsubscribers. That's what I say to that. <laughs> the way this devil is coming through to me now is those dark places, like the person actually becomes the devil. The person becomes the devil. The person now has the strength and the experience. They're no longer naive. They're no longer just necessarily cold and mean. They have purpose. They have reason. They have experience. And now they are big enough, experienced enough, intimidating enough as they feel, to go back into this and fight these issues. The person has now become the devil. I know that sounds bad, but it's like for a long time, I'm seeing this as something that was outside of the person, right? There was a lot of devils or, or a huge cloud or a lot of, you know, demonic energy or bad energy or negative energy or bad people or however you want to say that. But it was all outside of the person. It was all shit that's been done to me energy, okay? Now the person becomes the devil energy. Now the person is understanding that all of that is really irrelevant at this point. Because at this point, 
it's all inside of me. It's no longer outside of me. However it happened before, it's not, not shit that's been done to me. It's shit that is me. Do you understand me? It's shit that is me now. I know that. I see that. I'm taking, I'm taking ownership of that. And I'm taking care of that. I'm ripping it up. Out of the, the fiery pits. <laughs> fiery pits. I literally got an image of someone with their pits on fire. I feel like there used to be a cartoon um, where he had super hairy pits. Like maybe his whole body was basically armpits. I think he held his eyes up and he had really hairy pits. I don't know what that cartoon is, but I'm seeing that. And he's running around like, which is amazing to me because it's like... <laughs> At one time, it was really scary and, and probably for good reason. The, you know, things that are traumatic, it could be any number of things, right? But, you know, some of the traumatic things are really, really fucking bad. And we're lucky to even have survived those situations, seriously, with any sort of, you know, mental normalcy or normality and and even like literally survived, you know, with with our life. Yeah, that magician energy coming through. Um, but yeah, it's telling me like this person has become the devil and the monsters don't seem that scary anymore, right? There's, they seem very like, very animated, very cartoon network, very, um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, c comedy. It's, it's serious, but now that we've become more experienced in this space, now that we've become something that we feel like can go up against it and we've seen that and we are that this is what this one was about about yes being the hermit but also being the observer it's a very vulnerable space it's a very vulnerable space that love that love has been seen as a weakness for so long that it was almost deleted. You believe that? I believe that. I've been there. But not anymore. Not anymore. That love is invested in. That love is rejoiced, rejoiced over. That love was manifested and called in on purpose. I love this. I love this for you. That's freaking wise. I love this. We're now, um, like, we're not, we're not the victim. We're not the loser. We haven't lost anything. We're not, we're not concentrating on everything that we have lost. What could have been, what should have been, like, that shit that's been done to me should be the title of this video. I just think that probably people wouldn't know how to take it. But, uh, yeah, we're no longer investing in that space. We're investing in a space of betterment, okay, and higher energies and higher frequencies, in order to do that, we're having to heal things that we, I don't know that you didn't necessarily know they were broken. I think that was pretty clear that there was some animosity hidden down in there. I think a lot of times it's just easier to skip over it and keep going. Um, it's just, it's survival. That's what it is. Yeah. No one's leaving you. No one's leaving you behind. Not even you. You tried to leave that part of yourself behind, but that's a very, very important part of yourself because in that space, the only way you were able to get hurt like that is because you were innocent, because you were vulnerable, because you did give, because you did love wholeheartedly. You just happened to give it to the wrong person or the wrong people, or maybe even they stole it from you. Maybe they took it from you and you weren't strong enough to fight back, but now you are. I want to cry. I'm about to cry. So I'm going to end this reading. I love you. You're beautiful, you're strong, and you are such an amazing, infinite being made of beautiful light and beautiful gold and beautiful truth. And I will see you tomorrow.